<laughs> but this is not all of Tokyo. This is just the, we were all, to be precise, we only know that this was what happened in this car that drove from Chiba to Tokyo, Chiba to Tokyo, Chiba to Tokyo. Maybe yeah. other parts are okay. だから、えー、これはだもう東京全体ではなくて、えー、と千,葉千葉市で言ったと思うんですけども千葉市と東京都内のその間をあの行ったり来たりした車の,あの話なんですけどね。えっ、ー、と福島県の場合はですねあの車のエアフィルターはです、ね、4つあります。であの平均してですね、あの2点、そういう。2.5 to 3, but these are becquerels, not milli becquerels, these are becquerels. This is like 2,500 to 3,000 milli becquerels now. えっと、その、えっ、ー、と、福島県の方の,あの4つ。I will send this to Shelly,、yeah. and I can have a proposal to you within a half an hour. We're a small business. With 27 of us always in the field, we have to stay connected. We use Verizon tablets, smartphones. We're more responsive. There are no delays. Okay, good. Delays cost money. With Verizon, we do things quicker and more effectively. More small businesses choose Verizon Wireless than any other wireless carrier because they know a small business with the best technology rules. So, this is about 1,000 times higher than the global level. But all of these filters gave external dose rates of less than 0.2 micrograms per hour. だけれども、そのフィルターはですね、どれを取ってみても、えー、といわゆる外部、あの外部カウンターデータを測る場合はですね、0.2 ミ、えー、ーマイクロ、えー、とシーバーと1時間、毎日ですね、毎日、えー、と 0.2 ミーマイクロシーバーとぐらいの,あの感じだったんですね。So if we do a calculation based on the air that they breathe, And assuming that they were people, these cars would have had internal doses of been between 0.3 and 0.5 millisieverts just on the basis of the cesium isotope. Never mind about all the other crap, just the cesium isotope. Yeah, What was the size of the frequency again? The, 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 the doses point between 0.3 and 0.5 millisieverts、oh. is the doses from those cesium isotopes just for that breathing. So we are also analyzing for other substances, uranium and plutonium. Now, when this all started, I, did a, a paper, I, made, a, I made an analysis of the、um, of the of the of the、uh, Likely cancer yield on the basis of the ECRR risk model and on the basis of Tom Dell. どのぐらいあのがんの発生率が上がるかという計算をしてみました。No, I'm not going to go through this because it will be very tedious and you'll all go to sleep. But I can go to the end of, of the calculation and show you how it was done, roughly what the answer was. えっと計算全部ねあのここで話すと皆さんがですねあのおそらく寝てしまう
という可能性があるかもしれないので、あの結論だけをですねお見せしたいと思います。I mean, basically,、uh, Tondel found an 11% increase in cancer per 100 kilobacterials per square meter. えっと、トンデル、えー、先生の場合はですね、えー、と1立方メートル100キロをベクレルごとに、えー、とがんの発生率が 11% と上がったという。So the first thing I need to do is to work out what the contamination level is in, in kilobacterials per square meter and I can just multiply by 11%. でだからあの、例えばエーフィルターを使って、えー、とどのぐらいの,その汚染度があったかというあの、あるかというかの、えー、値をですね、えー、と 1, 1平方メートルの,あのキロベクレルで、えー、とそれを計算して、でそれでがんの発生率はどのくらいになるかという計算ができるはずです。You can calculate what the, um... Contamination is in kilobacterials per square meter from the dose rate in microsieverts per hour using this sort of relationship that we have here. のその汚染度から、えー、と毎時、えー、マイクロシーバーとかどのくらいあるかということが計算できるんです。そして、例えば、例えば、例えば、例えば、例えば、例えば、例えば、So that's 308, to be precise. 308 kilobacterials per square meter is one microsiever per hour. So if you live somewhere where you have one microsiever per hour above background, then the chances are that your contamination level is 300 kilobacterials per square meter. This is just physics, medicine, it's not rocket science. Actually, but it is rocket science. <laughs> えっと、見ると、えっと、これセシアム137っていうあのバイなんですけれども、えっと、右の方ですね。え、これメガベクレル、えっと、1平方メートルあたりのえっと、メガベクレル、つまり先ほどのえっと、え、キロベクレルの1
to, but they don't get, they give rather similar results. えっと、だからここで2つのモデルですよね、まあ、3つですけれども IC、ICRT と ECRR と、ECRR えっと、トンネルのモデルと ECRR2003 年のとのモデルで、えー、計算してみると,、まああのえー、と2番目と3番目ですけれども、あのまあ、結果は大雑把に言うと、まあ、似てるような結果が出てきますね。And so that's the assumption. The assumption is that the population inside that,、uh, re- that, that ring is about 3 million, and the dose rate is about 2 microsieverts per hour above background in that ring. でえー、と2マイクロシーバーとかライですかの,その、えー、とお戦闘ということでそういう結果が出てくる。And、now the ICRP, of course, they will also predict that there's going to be some cancers in this population, but their prediction is about 2,800 in 50 years. えっ、ー、と、ICRP もあの、まあ、I- IPRC のモデルを使って計算してみると、まあ、同じように、えー、といわゆる余計なえー、とがんが発生するんですけれども、50年間で、えー、と2838人ということになっています。And, um, that compares with the ECRR, which predicts it about 200,000 in 50 years, 191,000. なんですけれども、ECRR の一番下ですね、えー、と20万弱ルールの,あの計算となってますね、50年間。And what Tom Dell found was that the Chernobyl、uh, cancers occurred in the first 10 years after the, after the accident. So if that happens here, then we would expect to have 100,000 extra cancers in 10 years in, in this. 100 km area. えっと、ですからこ、この100キロ、えー、とあの面積以内にはですね、10年間ぐらいだったら、今の数字の半分ぐらいですね、約10万人の,その、えー、とがんが、えー、と引き起こされるということですね。And now, if we assume one microsiever per hour for the 102 kilo to 200 km radius, the outer ring now, で今度はですね、えーとあの、福島の原発から100キロないし、200キロメートルの、えー、と距離、えー、以内で、えーと、これはですね、毎日1マイクロシーバーですね、の場合はこうなるんですね。We have less contamination, but we have a lot more people. で、汚染度は低いけれども、人口は。And so the cancer yield is, is roughly the same. It's about 120,000 from Tom Bell in 10 years or 220,000 in 50 years from ECRR. But you'll note that ICRP doesn't say zero cancer. ICRP calculation shows that there are going to be 3,000 cancers there. So, again, it's a difference in the risk factor and the risk model that you'll see. ICRP is not the risk factor that 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 is not the One thing that I need to say, and I said in the report, is that if you die of a heart attack, you don't die of cancer. And so, with these reasonably high exposure levels from Chernobyl, what we found was that people there lost approximately 10 years of their lifespan. Now, if you, if you don't live as long, you don't, your, cancer, your cancer rate is not going to be as high in the population. 